Hi there and thanks for clicking on my video. Um, what we're going to go through now quickly on the Real Presence Trio 8800 by Polycom is just quickly how to do uh, one of the other common questions which is how to enable the web interface on the unit. Uh, the web interface is often a good source especially if it's only one or two units that you're playing around with and just getting a feel for how to use it in your environment. Uh, it's often a good way to be able to test things, look at stuff and just, uh, just generally either set up the unit register the unit or look at what's actually going on with the unit. Um, depending on what version it is, is that you're running, if it's the open SIP, generally the web interface is enabled by default. But if you're running the Skype for Business or Microsoft or Link version, um, then that version uh, generally has the uh, web interface turned off. So what we're going to do is just quickly go through how to turn it on and off manually. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go into the settings page. Then we're going to go into advanced. And then we're going to type in the default password. This would generally be 456. Uh, if it's a standard unit, uh, if that's been changed and you need to factory default it, you can always do that, which is in one of my other videos. Um, but basically, yeah, 456 would be the default password. Click done. We're going to go into the admin settings. Then at the point where we go into admin settings, what we're going to do now is we're just going to go down to the bottom of here. As we go down to the bottom, we'll notice there's one called web server configuration. Click on the web server configuration. Now we have the option to turn the web server on or off. So at the moment you can see that mine is currently enabled, but as I click this toggle, you'll see that it turns it on and off. Uh, the next part that we have is web config mode, uh, just in here below. The web config mode, uh, if disabled, you're not gonna get into the web interface, but if you have HTTP only or HTTPS only, then it will only answer on those relevant uh, um, connections. But in my case, I've got HTTP and HTTPS enabled so that I can just get into it and play about with it as needed. Of course, if you're doing this in a secure environment, you choose HTTPS. Um, if you're just wanting to be able to access it from anything without any worries and you're not too worried about security, HTTP might be preferred. So yeah, so there's the various different options and how you would enable them and disable them. It's important to note, if I do, for instance, here a disable and then I come out of it, what actually happens is the unit asks to save and it does a quick reboot just to uh, enable and disable that. So that's what it would be doing now. And then the unit will come back up. And at the point where it comes back up, the web interface will now be disabled. I can follow exactly the same process again. So settings, advanced, 456, done. And then what I can do is go into admin settings again, to the bottom, web server configuration, enabled. And this will now enable the web server configuration when I reboot. So that's now rebooting and that will come up once again with that uh, the, the web interface enabled. Now the other part is, uh, just for quick reference, um, once the unit's rebooted and come up, the next thing you may need to know is what the IP address is. So by pressing on the uh, uh, menu button at the top here, what we'll find in a moment is as soon as this unit connects to the network, it'll actually come up with an IP address just at the top of the screen. It currently says network unavailable. This is actually a good troubleshooting method because if you don't get an IP address coming up here, then you know there's, uh, there's an obvious sign that something's wrong. So here we can see I've got my IP address. So I can now go to a browser on Internet Explorer, type in that IP address, and I would now get into the web interface of the unit. Uh, this is just the sign in because this, this, this unit is blank at the moment. But yeah, so that's the easiest way to get into the web interface to be able to access some of the advanced settings. Thank you very much for your time. And if you like this video, please feel free to like and subscribe.